Armstrong. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our third installment of the Metal Hammer of Doom Extra this week. This week, we're talking Corp Aklani, and here to let you know what video we're going to be doing a commentary on, Mark Radlich has graciously appeared like he does every week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like like a, some chore or something. Mark Radlich, what do we got? What, what do we got coming up now? We last looked at their sixth album. This is their follow up to uh, that album. This is Ukon Waka uh, Waka Waka. This is um, <laughs> the title uh, Ukon Waka Waka. Our title refers, hair. <laughs> <laughs> refers to an ancient pagan sacrificial feast dedicated to Uko, and the album was sung in Welsh. And uh, this is one of two singles. The first single was Ukon Waka, which was released December 21st, 2010. And then they followed up with Dehila, you know, in their, again, the growing growing catalog of uh, music about alcohol. This was released February 15th, 2011. And it's probably the other most well-known song by this band. Okay. The album itself came out February 4th, 2011. Very good. All right, then. Well, let's uh, let's hop to it. What do we got going on? All right. And ladies and gentlemen, if you liked beer, beer and you like vodka, you'll love tequila. <laughs> We're in yeah. this guy, the guy's cabin where he either blows glass or creates alcohol. Yeah, my guess is the latter. Probably. Uh, that is a rather large machete or whatever that is on the... <laughs> And we have uh, some tribal drumming going on on the TV. What cable just... company does puts <laughs> shit out here? Oh, it's clearly antenna. There's no way. Yeah, he's, he's got rabbit out. ears. Yeah, he's got the I Hitachi. Do. The Hitachi <laughs> that's built into the fucking wall <laughs> of the cabin. And we're in the woods again. Hey, welcome back. In case you missed it, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the woods. And this is it like built into a fucking log? The TV has got me concerned, Mark Rattles. Look at this TV! <laughs> but I like how, like, he was beating on the ice, and it gave a drum sound. Tequila! Oh, wow. You know, I, I'm concerned about this man's organization skills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, a little confused. 30, like, you know, 30 empty bottles, you got to go through every single one of them to find out. The, have, did I drink that one? Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> sand. My bad. So this is not sung in English. Okay. By the way. All right. So they could be saying tequila tastes like piss. We know we don't know, but uh, it's in Welsh. <laughs> I'm definitely not picking up any, uh, you know, Mexican vibes here. We're, we're definitely not in South America. No. Oh. It's fucking snowing. Uh, is is it snow? Yeah. Okay. There's like snow coming off the the uh, symbol. Got well, it. You're kicking snow. I thought it was dirt ah! at first. Hey, right, we're gonna make some tequila now. Is what's happening? Here? It's breaking. It's breaking bad, man. <laughs> <He's making laughs> <mess. laughs> tequila is code for mess. Uh, yes, fucking uh, uh, what's his nuts from? Oh, what's his name? See, this is why I That's shouldn't do life. podcasts. But I can't. Yeah, Frank, Gus Fring is showing up pretty soon. He's going to be checking <laughs> his product. Did the audio cut out? No, they just okay. stopped playing, and then they turned the TV back oh, on. Oh, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> well, time to get a new drum. <laughs> just broke his own drum there. All he has, all he has to do, he's out in this remote location. I mean, I want to know a backstory on this dude. <laughs> like, what happened? Why does he? Uh -huh. Now we're cooking. Yeah, buddy. He is getting the pure shit. The antlers have returned. Um, yeah, the antlers are always a part of the microphone stand. That's respectable. Drink it, drink it up. Test that product. What was the pitch meeting for this video like? I want to do a, I want to do a video based on my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us about your grandpa. <laughs> he has like the most fucking interesting story ever <laughs> about his grandpa <laughs> <laughs> in the fucking woods <laughs> making tequila. And the, mm -hmm. that whole video 
was him watching a Corpaclani video while resting in this cabin in the middle of nowhere. I assume it's the middle of the- We didn't see what the outside looked like. No. And it's then like- he's they, cooking they just- tequila up. Yep. It, yes. The whole the whole video is him brewing fresh tequila. First off, what, have we ever looked at tequila production <laughs> just to see if that is how you do it? Because for some reason, I'm thinking that that is not how you do that. No, I've never been to a tequila t- distillery to I see don't... what the application process is like. Man, that was I didn't see any ingredients other than liquid and glass bottles, maybe some snow and a TV that was inside a log. <laughs> all You're right really stuck on this i am dude that was the craziest thing i mean there are some abstract concepts that happen in videos that i just don't get sometimes tequila yes. is a regional distilled beverage and type of alcoholic drink made from the blue agave plant primarily in, in the area surrounding the city of tequila in northwest guadalajara in the highlands of central western mexican state Mexico. of jalisco Oh, Aside okay. from the differences in region of origin, tequila is a type of mezcal. Uh, the distinction is that tequila must use only blue agave plants rather than any type of agave. Tequila is commonly served neat in Mexico and as a shot with salt and lime across the rest of the world. I saw no salt. I saw no lime. I saw no agave plants. You see any agave plants? No. What a bunch of crap. <laughs> I'm looking at types. I'm wondering if there's if there's a type of tequila brewed by old men <laughs> in the snow. Old snowman tequila. <laughs> Only pick it up here. And, <laughs> this and, tastes like and, water. It's tequila. <laughs> Believe us, tequila. <laughs> I am done talking, ladies and gentlemen. That was tequila by Corpaclani. We're getting you ready for this Wednesday's Metal Hammer of Doom. Mark Radlich, tell us again what's the album we're going to be talking about this coming Wednesday. This coming Wednesday is uh, Kukija. It was released this past Friday. We'll be talking about it this Wednesday. All right. That's Mark Radlich. I'm Jesse Starcher. This has been the Metal Hammer of Doom Extra. Stay safe, stay sober. Have a good one. Tune in Wednesday for the Metal Hammer of Doom on the Rattlich and Broadcasting Network.